What's up guys? Welcome to another day of Onshape. We're going to continue on with our mechanisms in motion and this time we are creating a quick return and then a treadle uh, mechanism. I've been told this one treadle so we're going to call it a treadle unless somebody uh, wants to tell me different. Now let's hop into creating this piece right here. So in the description of this video will be a link to this, these parts. You're welcome to import them and right the way you don't have to make them yourself and you can follow right along with the video. So I'm gonna pull in the disc because of those have already been imported along with the quick return beam and base. Things look good. What I, one thing I need to do now is before we start moving some pieces we do have to group things because with how they pulled in these step files these pieces are not in relation with one another they're just pieces. So let's click on group let's group the disk to the peg click OK click the green check mark group the base to that peg click the green check mark and then let's get rolling right away. We're gonna do the same thing we did earlier in that last video we're going to hit M for mate and we're going to mate our disk to the center origin point. And so I'm going to find that, that axis that I want to rotate around. Notice how to turn uh, my view downwards a little bit so I can click the correct direction out there in the Z direction for that to happen. I'm going to, instead of fasten, this is going to be a revolute. So now we're saying that this disk can revolve around the Z axis at the origin point. If I try to preview it, it looks like the disc isn't moving. And remember, this is a preview of just the disc and the origin point. It's not including the peg. What I do, however, want to do is go ahead and reorient that axis to where that peg is pointing upwards. Go ahead and hit the green check mark. Looks good. While we're at it, let's do some more revolutes. So we're going to have this peg is going to revolve around that. Looks good. And then the last one I'm going to do is actually just for alignment. So we're going to use this for alignment and then we're going to delete it. This is super cool. So I'm going to choose this arc right here or the center of that arc to line up with this arc over here. I'm going to reorient it where it's pointing downwards. We do have a little bit of mesh overlap. So I'm going to go ahead and do an offset of a quarter inch and what you know looks good. Now I actually don't need that third revolute so I'm going to right click and actually delete it. But notice what it did. It lined things up perfectly for me. I think it's just super cool. I'm going to go ahead and click on that peg and rotate this base 90 degrees downwards and things are already looking good. Now we are going to run to a little bit of an issue here, and that is going to be this top of this peg is going to have an issue with using the tangent relationship. So before I do anything else, I'm going to move this base up just a little bit. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to move it up where you can go ahead and see this gap. As long as the gap is some minimum distance, and I think in my my example I did here, uh, it is like 0 .001 inches. It's a super small tolerance at the top. However, it prevents it from touching 100%. You will run into a tangent issue if there's not some sort of a gap here. This is more extreme for the video, but at least you see what we're talking about. Okay, everything looks good. The only thing I need to do now is right click and hit fix on our base so their base doesn't move and do our tangent relationship. So we're going to do tangent mate. This face is going to be touching the inside of that wall. Notice how it shot down here, but it's on the outside. We're just going to say, hey, flip it. All right, and then you should be good. Hit the green check mark, and then we should have a working mechanism in order. Just to rotate it around, Things look good. It doesn't top out at the top. I'm gonna right click, hit animate. Bring our steps to like 30 so it has some speed to it. And there we go, we got our quick return mechanism. Looks like a beaut. Okay. All right guys, let's hop up over to the treadle mechanism now. 
This one is uh, some similar aspects to it, to the quick return. We got the disk, but instead uh, we have a linkage attached to another linkage or not a beam attached to another beam. And we're just gonna create those. Let's do that. So let's click on plus, let's click on create assembly, and then let's get rolling. We're gonna click on insert, disk, we need the disk again. We're gonna do beam type one and beam type two. And I think that's all we need. Sweet, looks good. Let's get rolling. We do need to join some pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, group. Let's group this disc to this peg. Hit the check mark, good to go. And then for our other group, we're gonna do this beam to the center one only. And you'll see why here in a little bit. Now what I should have is that peg is free floating and our disk has the peg attached. We're going to M for mate. Center of that face is going to buy mate to our origin. I'm going to rotate downwards a little bit so I can get that direction a little bit better. And instead of a fasten, it's going to be a revolute again because we want it to spin in place. And hit the green check mark. So this should spin in place and it does looks great. I always hit undo control Z when just to make sure it snaps back to that original spot, just in case you're warning. We're gonna mate now. We're gonna do another revolute mate. So let's do revolute. We're gonna revolve this beam around our peg. Looks good. And even the direction looks good. I don't think we need an offset. I don't think we need anything. Let's we'll hit the green check mark and let's keep going. Our next revolute is gonna be the flush part of this peg along with the flush part or the outside part of that beam. That or that alignment's not quick, so let's reorient that second axis to where our hole is facing towards the bottom. Hit the green check mark, and man, we are cooking with grease here. The last one is gonna be another revolute, but it's gonna I'm gonna click on this back edge here and that's gonna revolve around that inside edge here. Hit the green check mark, and we're looking good to go. The reason we had to do those separate is because something has to not move. And by doing it this way, we can fix that bottom peg to where it can't move, and then we should have a working mechanism now. Hey, would you look at that? That looks smooth, smooth action. So let's go right click, let's do animate. Let's drop, drop our steps down to 50 and hit play. Boom. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any mechanisms or you'd like to see more, feel free to throw them down in the comment section. I would love to help make some videos that you guys would be interested in. Uh, this one struck my fancy and I just liked it and we ran with it. You guys are awesome, stay awesome. If these videos have been helpful, please like and subscribe and I will catch you guys. Next video, take care.